Hello everyone, welcome to Danimal's House. Today we're going to take a look at a John Deere compact tractor ballast box, talk about why it's important to use, and I'll show you how I made mine 850 pounds. So let's get started. Holy shit! So here's what we're working with today, everyone. We've got a John Deere 3039R compact tractor, a 320R loader, and then a Category 1 iMatch hitch with a standard ballast box. So the ballast box is going to come empty. You can put anything you want on there. And the general idea is it's just supposed to give you some counterbalancing weight uh, near the back of the tractor. So sometimes you're doing simple projects with those loaders and pallet forks out there. And other times you're doing things that the physics of the matter really put you in some dangerous situations if you're not careful. So maybe you're going down a hill, maybe you're turning, maybe you've got to make a sudden stop, or maybe you're flirting with the limit of what that loader is capable of lifting up. So what I did here is uh, get the empty ballast box. And what I thought is if I can put anything I want in there, I want something that can go out of the ballast box if I want to transport it or otherwise move it or sell it. And I wanted something that was as heavy as possible. So my answer was concrete. I basically just formed up uh, some two by fours and plywood. And then I made some U brackets out of threaded rod. And then once that all set up, I bolted some D rings onto the top of there. Uh, then I put the front and back one in, uh, tip them towards the front and the back. And then I put that heavier center section down and painted it green. And I'm basically, uh, you know, set to go with that ballast box now. To give you a quick rundown here, you look at the tractor from the side, it's pretty easy to see where it'd be valuable to have some weight in the back. You're looking at a pivot point of your front axle. And remember, speed, slope, uh, turning angle, how far things are in front of you, those all are going to affect your tractor's ability to keep its back tires on the ground. Uh, you put 100, 850 pounds in the back there, it's pretty easy to see where you're going to be a lot safer having extra weight in the back. So basically anytime I'm going to do any type of heavy lifting with the front, even just simple stuff like loading up a trailer or, or uh, moving dirt around, it's really nice having that, that weight back there. It stabilizes everything for me. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like it, go ahead and click for me. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Danimal's House.